now please welcome Mike Ogletree! Oh, yeah. 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 So, um, he's <laughs> just excited because it's very exciting. <laughs> what I have to talk about tonight. Now, you have to forgive me because I'm, you know, we come here, we workshop our show. Right, now, the, the, I'm going to get visceral with you because this is a very visceral subject. Um, but it's a bit of a downer. You know? <laughs> Sorry, it's a downer. It's a downer. But then the, the show has the up parts in it. You see, you've got to build the show. If you take the audience down, you bring them up. Okay, so I'm giving you a little bit of insight on how we construct it. Hey. Right. But this is a bit of a downer on the show. I, I usually I like to come out and make people feel happy and laugh. Um, this is, a, this is a, I'm, I'm going to talk to you about the subject of war. Right? Like war is a kind of visceral subject. You know, war. Blood and guts. As it's aesthetic, people write poetry about war. Famous uh, English poets wrote poetry about war. It has its aesthetic values. We're going to talk tonight about the cost of war. Now the cost of war is something that usually gets calculated monetarily, right? Or in the cost of lives. Now it's easy to uh, talk about those things. People, oh, yeah, there's so much money and so many lives, and, and that's fine, right? But there is another cost that we need to address. And I spoke to a lawyer from the UN about this, and she asked me to write a song. And I looked into this. And I actually found out that there is another cost when you calculate the cost of war. It's the cost of the, the psychological cost on the people that have to live with the effects of war. And she was talking specifically about zones of conflict where you have refugee camps and you have children that are in these refugee camps and they, they, they've got nothing. They've got no homes. They've got they don't even have a constitution, they don't have any rights. And she is, uh, her purpose is to bring this to the attention of the UN by uh, having discussions, you know, how, you know how the UN works, right? So that's what that's her purpose. She asked me to write a song, so I wrote a song. Now, I'm hurrying up here. Now. It's a great story. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you can get into the best risk and all that. But anyway, the point is, I wrote the song about the cost of war. <laughs> to highlight this problem that there are these children. And uh, I don't know, she said to me, could you come and be the ambassador of peace in the UN when I do this thing? So I'm going to go and I'm going to sing this song yeah. to these people at the UN and tell them to fucking wake up, you know? Yeah. You know, the people at the UN, they can't even sit in the fucking same room as each other. The Jews and the Arabs, the Israelis, excuse me, and the Arabs. He's here, I'm leaving. That's the end of the chance for any kind of dialogue and peace. So it's ridiculous. We don't even have any problems. We've got a little bit of the ass about the peace, you know, from Scotland. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I need your help tonight. We're going to do this song. It's called The Cost of War. 